results from the James Webb Space Telescope have continuously hinted at galaxies so early and so massive that they are in tension with our understanding of the formation of the universe. Various explanations have been proposed that may alleviate this tension. But now a new discovery suggests an effect that has never before been studied at such early epochs, indicating that the galaxies may be even more massive. If you have been following news about James Webb Space Telescope, you have probably heard about the paramount issue with the observations of the earliest galaxies. They are too big. They contain too many stars that form too soon after the Big Bang. From days after the release of the very first images, and repeatedly through the coming months, new reports of ever more distant galaxies appeared. Disturbingly, several of the galaxies seem to be too massive. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has once again made a massive, groundbreaking, universe-shattering discovery. Lo and behold, Webb has just studied the oldest galaxy ever. And we're using these superlatives because it is in fact the most ancient, star-studded galaxy to ever grace the eyes of James Webb. Orbit Beyond the Blue Astronomers have used the most powerful telescope ever built to identify a massive, densely packed galaxy 25 million light-years away. Known as GS9209, the galaxy formed around 600 to 800 million years after the Big Bang and is the earliest of its kind found to date. The scientists, led by University of Edinburgh experts, used the James Webb Space Telescope to reveal the properties of GS9209 for the first time. The James Webb Space Telescope has already demonstrated that galaxies were growing larger and earlier than we ever suspected during the first billion years of cosmic history itself. But this discovery gives us the very first detailed look at the properties of these early galaxies. By chotting the history of GS9209, researchers have confirmed that this galaxy managed to form as many stars as our own Milky Way in just 600 million years after the Big Bang. Despite being around 10 times smaller than the Milky Way, GS9209 has the same number of stars, with a combined mass around 40 billion times that of our Sun. When the researchers observed it at 1.25 billion years after the Big Bang, no stars had formed in the galaxy for about half a billion years. And then, suddenly, it began producing stars at a whirlwind phase, before coming to a grinding halt. Can you imagine the amount of stars it could have birthed had it kept growing at the pace it did? But, the reason for this halt in star formation could be thanks to a dark surprise nesting in the galaxy. A very, very massive black hole at its center, one that's five times larger than astronomers might anticipate in a galaxy with this number of stars. Researchers say this could explain why GS9209 stopped forming new stars. GS9209 is the earliest known example of a galaxy no longer forming stars, something known as a quiescent galaxy, with no stars forming there for about half a billion years. The growth of supermassive black holes releases huge amounts of high-energy radiation, which can heat up and push gas out of galaxies. This could have caused star formation in GS9209 to come to a grinding halt, as stars form when clouds of dust and gas particles inside galaxies collapse under their own weight. The fact that we see a very massive black hole in this galaxy is a big surprise, and lends a lot of weight to the theory that these black holes are what shut down star formation in early galaxies. This discovery comes just a few months after NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope had spotted six gigantic galaxies each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. A group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that were so massive they shouldn't even exist. The six gargantuan galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, were dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that spotted them. That's because, if they are real, 
the discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. It is not expected that the early universe will be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies theoretically should not have had time to form. While scientists don't know exactly when the first clumps of stars began to merge into the beginnings of the galaxies we see today, cosmologists have previously estimated that the process began slowly taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Currently accepted theories suggest that one to two billion years into the universe life, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones like our own Milky Way galaxy. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper we look into the universe, the more remote light we are able to intercept and the further back in time we see. By using the James Webb Space Telescope to peer roughly 13.5 billion years into the past, the astronomers found that enormous galaxies had already burst into life very quickly after the Big Bang, when the universe was just 3% of its current age. This discovery forced us to rethink everything we know. The galaxies are so massive that they are in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. This means that either the models will need to be altered, or scientific understanding of galaxy formation requires a fundamental rethink. Either way, it was a shocking discovery by James Webb, yet again. The Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year. These galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. Right now, all evidence points to these celestial objects being galaxies, but the astronomers haven't trawled out that some of them could be enormous quasars or supermassive black holes. Regardless of that, the amount of mass discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than was previously thought to exist. Even if sample size is halved, this is still an astounding change. Previous imaging of the early universe by the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect the giant galaxies, but JWST is about 100 times more powerful than Hubble. The Space Observatory was designed to read the earliest chapters of the universe history in its faintest glimmers of light, and has been delivering on its promise ever since its launch. We're certain that this is not the last time that the James Webb has forced us to rethink our understanding of the cosmos. And looks like the pattern will only continue with each new discovery. But what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.